Today, I'm going to build and fly my own seaplane in vanilla Minecraft. Great for cruising across the sea with. So let's see how this goes. But before I add the plane, I feel I need to add a bit more cool scenery to this. Because at the minute, I feel kind of stranded. And plus, what's the point in flying without a good view? So if I give myself a brush that's a sphere that is sand and probably like five wide. And if I just start placing this, we can start forming the islands. So I just ended up using all these spheres to create a basic kind of rocky island shape. And I smoothed it out and then I added the top with some grass. And as I'm making these islands tropical, I thought it'd be cool to add some nice palm trees on top as well to finish all of those islands off. So now all the tropical islands have been created here, I'm now going to actually start building the seaplane that we're going to fly. So for the seaplane, I think I'm going to do some sort of maybe like yellow and white plane. I think that'll look pretty cool. First up, I gave them some nice long feet just so the plane can glide across the water nicely. And I thought I would use some quartz for this because, you know, who doesn't love a good old bit of quartz? I just feel quartz works for any plane in Minecraft. I just think it's great. And then I decided to scrap this initial design because it was just too big. So I made it a little bit smaller. And then I thought it would be cool to add a nice bright colour to it. So I added some yellow, which I thought would be a nice cool colour for our seaplane. And then I just topped it off with a white sloping roof just there. Thought it would be nice to add a little window as well so we can get a nice view of our islands. And then just to finish the plane off, I added some wings on top and then just finished it off with a tail on the back as well. I thought it'd be cool to add some nice black stripes on the ends as well. Just to add an extra pattern to the plane here. So I managed to get the seaplane all complete here. So as you see, I think the yellow and white looks pretty cool. I also like the little details on this plane. You know, we've got a nice little propeller there using some birch fences and a deep slate wall there. And I also like how I created this nice little tail on the end. I like how the stairs kind of make it look that little bit more kind of sloped up. I think that makes it look that little bit better. As you come inside, you've got a nice little minecart here which you can actually sit in. And you've also got some levers as well for some plane controls. And I've also managed to add a nice little extra seat just in there as well. So now with the chip jet built, we can now figure out how we're going to make this thing work. But before I can get this plane working, I'm going to create some sort of docking section for a little bit of extra detail. And to that, I'm also going to add ourselves a control tower, which is going to be where the plane is actually going to be physically controlled from. So I think I might add some sort of dock to start with, so I can grab myself maybe like some burnt slabs that I can build like a whole platform going out. And then I can lead this docking area up to where our watchtower will be. And you know what? This dock feels a little bit empty. So I think I'm just going to copy the plane over. And then if I paste it here. Oh, well, it just destroys half of our dock. Quickly rebuild that. Let's change the color of this one as well. Let's make this one a nice dark blue. So now I've managed to fill up all of the dock. I can now move on to building the control tower. So this is going to be the place where pretty much the whole plane is going to be controlled. Literally. First up, I started building the base for our control tower. Again, using that quartz just there and I thought it would be nice to add some colour to it so I added some blue and yellow to that which I think looks quite nice. Added some nice redstone torches to light it up for the radar systems and all of that. And then I started decorating all of the interior so I added all of the computers and all the kind of radar systems to control all the aircraft. So here is the control tower. I thought it would be nice to make it yellow and blue to match all of our planes here and then if we just go inside we've got like a nice little seating area there and then the ladder that will go down here this will be where all the commands will be and then if i just come up here this is like the main control tower bit so we've got our little computer with all of our buttons and levers and then i've also got a nice little map of our area here to show where the planes are so with all of our main assets built i can now start to get this plane working so to pretty much show the concept of how this works so to move the plane i'm going to be using a combination of structure blocks and command blocks and pretty much with the structure blocks, it's just going to spawn in one mini plane structure at a time. And it's just going to spawn it in one while moving it kind of like one block across or in whatever direction I want the plane to go in. And then these command blocks at the back will destroy the back half of the plane to make sure it doesn't repeat itself or leave like a massive trail. But yes, but if I press this button, it kind of, as you see, the plane kind of moves that way. So I've got to do that with the model that we created earlier. The plan is to pretty much dig out a lot of space underneath here for where all of the structure blocks are going to go. And now, I don't even know if all of this is necessary, but we'll soon find out. And for some reason, someone crashed my plane earlier. Who was flying my plane? Haha, <laughs> totally wasn't me. So now on to actually making our plane work by adding all of our commands in. And believe in me, this was no easy task. This took me a very, very long time. 
In fact, this whole redstone circuit features nearly 10,000 repeaters in total. And this was alongside the 1,300 command blocks and the 650 structure blocks also. And the most challenging thing with this was making sure all the repeaters were timed properly because it only took one repeater to be off to mess up my whole circuit. So I had to keep going over it. But another challenging thing was actually calculating the gradient of the plane, you know, because it took a lot of numbers just to figure out, you know, how steep I wanted it or how quickly I wanted it to land as well. So I pretty much had to resort back to some basic maths and yeah, I never want to see this bit of paper ever again. But in the end, the effort was definitely worth it. And there's also a bunch of commands to TP a minecart so we can actually ride this plane. So after many, many hours, this plane now officially works. So now it's time to ride our plane. So for that, I'm going to press this button and it pretty much gives us a few seconds to get in our plane before it takes off. So let's try and catch our plane. So for that, I'm going to press the button. Let's quickly rush to our plane so we don't miss the takeoff. So if I quickly... Come in here and then let's sit in our pilot's seat here. And then let's just wait for it to go. So it should go in a few seconds. Just wait for it. There we are. And we have officially taken off. We are taking off for the very first time across the ocean here. So yes, we are gaining speed. And hopefully in a few seconds we should take off. There we are. We are taking off into the air. And now we have reached cruising altitude. And we can now just chill and fly in the air. There we are. Oh my God, this is so cool. I love this. And then as I'm cruising, I can just look at all of these islands that we made earlier. Got all these tropical islands, which I think look quite nice. They're just nice to look at when you're flying. But yeah, so uh, this is the working plane in Minecraft. And I still can't believe I managed to make this work. It's, kind of, it's pretty incredible, not gonna lie. So yeah, so um, we're just cruising now. We should be starting our descent very shortly. So when is that going to start? Hopefully it should start very soon. There we are. And we're starting our descend. We are now making our way back to our base. So here we are. We're just ascending. Are we going to turn around? Yes, we are. And then we are about to land now. There we are. We have landed back to our start just here. And we're about to stop. Hopefully we should stop very soon. And there we are. I am back. And oh my god, this is so cool. I'm so happy with this. And there you have it. That is my working Minecraft plane. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. And I'd highly appreciate it if you consider giving that like button a smash. As I'm not going to lie, this was not an easy thing to build. So I would highly appreciate that. But also, if this video gets a 100 likes, I will put this map up for download. So yeah, if you did like the video and you want this map, you know what to do. But yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good day.